So hi everyone uh, and welcome to this video on deriving the money demand function. Uh, this is part of our module on the money and utility model. And uh, in particular for this video, we're just gonna discuss uh, three examples on how to derive uh, the money, uh, optimal money demand function. Uh, so uh, what, what we need to do is basically in each of these, use this optimality condition that we have written here uh, and um, we're going to derive the money demand function as a result. So a key thing I want to point out is uh, the derivative on top, which is UMT, CT, MT, PT, that's deriving the utility function, CT, MT over PT, with respect to MT over PT. So because it's the real money holding derivative, so this derivative corresponds to this numerator term. The denominator term is your standard marginal utility of consumption. So um, let's uh, we'll easily see this. Let's go for an example. Let's go for letter A. Okay, so if we have a simple log utility, well, UC, CT, MT over PT. Uh, if I derive it with respect to CT, that's just one over CT. If I derive it with respect to MT over PT, that's just going to be one over MT over PT or PT over MT, right? But this is supposed to be MT, UMT, right? So uh, using the optimality condition, we have that uh, uh, UMT, so that's PT over MT, uh, divided by 1 over CT is equal to IT over 1 plus IT. Uh, simplifying, we get that PTCT over MT is equal to IT over 1 plus IT. Then uh, what we need to do is we need to isolate, okay, isolate uh, MT over PT. So to do that, multiply both sides by MT over PT. So that yields us, uh, this cancels out. You get CT is equal to IT over one plus IT times MT over PT. Then uh, multiply both sides by a one plus IT over IT. That cancels this one out. And you get that uh, MT over PT is equal to CT times one plus IT over IT, right? And this is the real okay, money demand function, a real money demand function. And uh, what we do is, so that's A, B and C are pretty much straightforward. We compute the marginal, uh, the, 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 the derivatives, the marginal utilities, and uh, then we isolate out M2 over PT. So um, say we have B, okay, so you use uh, CT. MT over PT is two square root of C1 plus two square root of MT over uh, PT, right? Uh, so how do we do this one? Well, we know that this is equal to two C1 0 0.5 plus two MT over PT 0 0.5, right? So if I take the derivative with respect to CT, I get, the, um, uh, that's just the first one. So two times 0 0.5 times C1 negative 0 0.5, that's gonna be um, uh, one over square root of C1. Then uh, from here, okay, I get a UMT, CT, uh, this is U, whoops, UMT, uh, MT over PT. This is going to be equal to um, uh, 2 times 0 0.5 times mt over pt raised to negative 0 0.5. So this is just 1 over square root of mt over pt, right? That's what we have there. So uh, then we use the optimality condition. So that's going to be 1 over square root of mt over pt divided by one over square root of CT, CT, and that's gonna be equal to IT over one plus IT. So uh, solving things out, okay, we get square root of PT over square root of MT 
times square root of ct equal to it, one plus it, multiply both sides by mt over pt, right? Square root, that is, okay? And uh, we get uh, square root of ct equals it over one plus it times square root of mt over square root of pt, then uh, multiply both sides by one plus it over it, you get square root of ct times uh, one plus it over it equals square root of mt or square root of pt, then square both sides. So you can get ct times uh, one plus it over it squared equal to mt over pt. And that's the real money demand function. Okay, okay nothing too difficult. The last one, uh, we have here a uh, Cobb-Douglas looking function. So it's a UCT. So C is a UCT, MT over PT, CT sigma, uh, MT over PT, one minus sigma. So uh, same procedure as before, okay? UCT, CT, MT over PT, that's just gonna be sigma ct sigma minus one mt over uh, pt one minus sigma. Then we have here u mt mt ct mt over pt. That's gonna be equal to one minus sigma ct sigma mt over pt negative sigma. Right. So using the optimality condition, okay, we have a one minus sigma, ct sigma, mt over pt minus sigma, divided by sigma, okay, sigma, uh, ct sigma minus one, mt over pt one minus sigma, okay. So uh, clearly what we can do is, okay, we can uh, bring, uh, this term to the denominator and then bring this term to the numerator. So uh, we're going to be left with one minus sigma. Okay, uh, uh, I get uh, ct, right? ct divided by sigma mt over pt being equal to, oops, being equal to it over one plus it, right? So uh, I get that. And then if I uh, isolate out mt over pt, okay, I get uh, iso isolating mt over pt, I get um, uh, 1 minus sigma ct over uh, sigma it. Then I need to multiply this one, so 1 plus it, and I get mt over uh, pt. And then I just uh, try to write this out a little bit better. So uh, mt over pt is equal to one minus sigma over sigma times uh, ct times one plus it over it, right? And that's the real money demand function. So pretty straightforward, just taking the derivatives and applying uh, the optimality condition. So thank you for your attention and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.